Okay, this is just a point that I wanted to make from the last couple videos that I've been doing or for the last week or two that I've been doing. Do we ever think of things like this? You know, all I want people to do is ask themselves these questions. You know, you don't have to do anything I say. You know, I'm just a guy living life. But uh, did you ever think that if there is nothing after this, if we just die and we're dead and we go into the ground and we're gone forever, this gives us an excuse not to do nothing in this life. You understand? It gives us an excuse to say, well, if I don't do nothing in this life, then I have the next life to do something. And for those of you who think that and you need that to get by, I don't have, if that's what you do and that is your personal decision that you want to make, you can do that. You know, because I see... You know, and like I said before with me, it's not even though I'm going to bring it up, it's not about this with me. You know, I can see that my views are dropping off dramatically, dramatically because I'm talking about things that it touches something with a lot of people. And I and I realize this and I'm not even going to really be talking about some of that stuff because it's just a waste of time. It's just wasting time for myself. And then I say, why even really do this? Why even really tell people about these things? You know, it's like, it's almost like I'm still, it's not that I'm helping people, but, but it's kind of like I want them to make their own decisions and live their own life and be comfortable in their own skin. And that's why I do this because I know where I was at. And I know I tell, I, I tell y'all about when I'm depressed and I'm going through stuff. You know, I'm a human being too. I get lonely too. Just because I'm the outcast and I'm the loner and I say I'm going to do everything on my own, I still have my days where I get uh, lonely and stuff. But it doesn't pertain to the the agenda going on. It doesn't pertain to the way that everybody else is doing things. You, you know, the standards of how everybody else may see things. I'm past all that stuff. But anyway, that's not really what I wanted to get into here, but it's all that I'm doing this for is for people to ask themselves these questions to themselves to be their own free thinkers. And when you say that, a lot of people, when they're around other people, they will, they'll cut it right off. They won't even listen to it. They won't give it a chance because they're so used to conforming around other people and being worried about what other people think that they just can't do it. And they're kind of stuck in that place in their lives. And I can't listen. If that's where they're at, that's where they're at. Like I said before, I am not trying to save no one. I'm just speaking about stuff that I have to speak about for myself. And when I say these things, it's me actually talking about my own life. I'm still deconditioning myself. I'm still seeing these things for what they are. It, it ain't like, see, when we say you and I and we and they and all these different things that have to do with the self. We're still, it's, we're still putting our everything into that. And we're still caring that it's an I and a we and a they and, and this kind of thing. And even that doesn't matter to me. It, it's, it's really hard to describe. I can't really put my words together to tell people how I feel about this thing. And I know a lot of you, you understand what I mean, but I just want you to ask yourself this. You know, we call this thing, we say that we have faith. Faith that we're going to go to this heaven that we think that we're going to go to or that God is going to save us from our sins. God made all this if there if there is a God. 
if there is some kind of creator, then God is the one responsible for this. God is responsible for the animals. If there is a creator, I'm saying, I'm not saying that there is. See, I have to have an open mind about this. If we don't have an open mind about this and we just keep closing off and going by what we think that we know, we're never going to come to any type of realization on why we do the things we do or the reason why do I keep putting myself in this situation? How, why do I, why am I still living in fear? And what I realized for myself is these nightmares that I'm having and these night terrors that I have, what I think's going on is my brain was so used to telling myself things that I'm having these horrible dreams because it's me getting that stuff out of me. And it's, it is a long process. It does not happen overnight. But what I'm saying is, what if this is it? Would I waste one second of it if this is it? You see, most of us think that we just got all the time in the world. We have some decades to live, y'all. We have some decades to live our lives. Do we under, do we realize this? We're only going to be here for some decades and we are going to be gone and forgotten forever, forever. Now, those who think there's something after this and they think that we are something besides what is right here, our brain, our eyes, our ears, our mouth, this body is all that there is. That's what I think now. I'm not banking on there being something after this. Because if I do that, then I'm going to keep using the excuse not to do nothing now. If we're not going to do something now in this life, what makes us think that we're going to do something in another realm? Or another dimension, if there is even a such of a thing, which I, like I said, I'm not banking on. I'm not counting on that. I'm not focused on that. I'm focused on here and now. And months ago, years ago, I thought that focusing on now was a bad thing. I thought that making the best out of my life was a bad thing. And I'm not talking about success. I'm not talking about getting rich. I'm not talking about none of that type of stuff. See, we get very confused with, because there's so many different ways to think about different things and to figure them out to really know when you're saying something metaphorically for people to really understand. You know, people will take it the way that they think that they should take it for themselves and they won't really look into it in many different ways and aspects. No, it's just my way. If it's not my way and it's, and you're telling me something that, that I don't believe in, you know, this word believe, it's like, Anybody can believe in something. I can sit here and say, I believe that a meteor is going to fall from the sky. It doesn't mean that a meteor is going to fall from the sky. It, it's, and my, my, the reason I do this is not to offend people. It is not to get people upset and angry. It's not to come at people. But this is what it will seem like to the average Joe. And when I say average Joe, I'm not scorning anyone. I'm saying someone that is lives going by this agenda, that lives by going by what the rest of the society is doing and doing everything because everybody else is doing it. This is going to be really hard for them type of people to understand this. And then... You know, you, you got these people in life that 
the ones that are known that leave a landmark in this world that are remembered for a while are those who have suffered. Those who were persecuted because they did what they wanted to do. They were a free thinker. They didn't go by what everyone else was doing. And they got, they were looked upon like an alien, like something that was not supposed to be there. But see, I'm even past that. I'm even past that. I don't care if people see me like that. I do not care if people see me like that. And when I say me, I'm not even associating this with me. I'm saying for everyone, the eyes that we are looking, we're all looking at something. We're all projecting something, but it's nothing really. We are unique in the sense that we can think differently. We can think for ourselves. But anything else, we are not different. We're not unique. We are the same people. We all have to breathe oxygen or we'll die. If we lose a pint and a half or two pints or whatever of blood, we're going to die. It's the pride and the ego has to go completely. If the pride and ego doesn't go, you're not going to understand this. If you still think that some spirit, and listen, if you think this, it's okay. It's okay. It's just we think differently. But if you think that somehow there's another part of you, like where is your soul? Where is your soul? Where is it? We have our brain. We have our heart. We have our eyes. Where is the soul at? Where is it? I mean, it makes, if we think that we have that and we think that there's something after this, that everything's just going to be okay, that's fine if you think that. But I think that this is all there is, is now. And if there is some God, look, I did a video yesterday and it cut off right when I was about to speak about this. My phone cut off exactly when I started talking about this. If there is a God and there is a creator, I've already went through that religious phase. I already went through the phase of reading the Bible. I've already went through the phase of praying and repenting and asking people for forgiveness and the things that I did. I actually went and made reprimands, if that's the word I want to use, to people that I did wrong or I did something to or I thought that I did something to. I've already did all that stuff. This is nothing new to me. Nothing that you're doing. I have a song that I wrote. Nothing that you're doing is new to me. There's not nothing. No, there's nothing. There was never nothing. There's nothing new that I did not do that everyone else may still have to go through for themselves. And it doesn't make me better. It doesn't make me more of he- ahead of anybody. It doesn't make me more of a something like, oh, this guy is more of something. This guy is something here. No, I'm nothing. I keep telling people this. I'm already dead again. From what you heard yesterday, a couple hours ago, if we're going by time, I'm already dead. That is, that will never be me again. And this is what I am constantly telling my mind is that yesterday does not matter. And the future never comes. It never comes. There's no such thing as the future. And if we're not doing nothing now, then what are we ever going to do in our lives? And, and I don't, I don't usually say this, but you know what? I do want to leave some kind of mark on this world. I do want to kind of be remembered in a way, even though it doesn't matter if I'm not. I want to leave a landmark here. 
I want to give something to future generations that will be born into this world because people will be born into this world. There is no stopping that. People are going to be born into this world. So, cheers. Cheers to now. Cheers to living now. This has nothing to do with motivation. This has nothing to do with success. It took years for me to let go of this stuff. And, and I only been doing these videos for close to three years. And even a lot of my older videos, if you go back and listen to them, I'm nobody special. Nobody even hardly listens to my videos. You know what I'm saying? I'm just doing this because I need to do it for myself. But if you go back to my older videos, that guy is dead and gone. This is what I think uh, when Kanye West said Picasso is dead. Uh, the All these people are dead when he was on the Ellen DeGeneres show. Not saying that I watched any of that because I don't. I just seen that clip. But I think that's what he means when he said that. Is that I'm dead. They're dead. They're, they're not no more. What was, what once was, will never be again. The only thing I have is right this second. And, and it seems so cliche. It seems so cliche to people. I understand how these things sound. I understand this. And sometimes... I'm sitting here telling myself, don't say that because I know it's going to sound cliche. I know it's going to sound like something that every other fake guru is telling you and all these people that are trying to lead you down these paths where there's nothing, there's nothing there. There's nothing to be discovered with these things. Discovery is discovery itself. If you want to do something then you can do that thing and you can discover things for yourself. No one's going to discover nothing for you. These mere human beings can never tell you and I how to be you and I. How to be yourself or to think for yourself. And I don't understand why there's not more groups of people that are like this. But that's not how it is. Groups of people conform. Groups of people turn into mobs. Groups of people go by what everyone else is doing. And it's a shame. It's a shame that we're like that. And this is why I said, if I would ever start something of my own, I only want individual free thinkers. I don't want conformists. I don't want people that are, that are saying yes just to say yes. I don't want that. And I'm not saying that anything like that is ever going to happen. Because like I said, I don't know what is going to happen. I could get hit and killed the night by a car while I'm walking. I could have something fly through the window from space and kill me. I could have a heart attack. Anything could happen any moment and no more of these videos. And I'm gone forever. And another thing too, I'm going to put this out there if you got this far in the video. When people comment on my channel and they say things like, could you speak faster? No, I can't speak faster. I'm speaking the way that I speak. This is my platform. This is my way to vent. This is my thing here. If you don't like it, if you don't want to listen to it, if it doesn't live up to your standards, then go and watch someone else. Go somewhere else. You don't have to be here. I am not forcing anybody to do or to say anything. When I have people that do this, like I said, I, I said the other day that I was done responding to stuff like this. But what I'm going to start doing is I'm just going to start muting and blocking people that do that kind of stuff because I don't have time for it. 
I do not have time for it. At all. At all, at all. And I know a, a lot of you, you're not like that. You're here to listen. You're here to actually open up and, you know, hear things that someone else is saying. And I appreciate that. And I appreciate what everyone does on here. And keep doing the same thing you were doing, whatever you were doing for yourself. I'm not going to sit here and say do anything or don't do anything. Because I don't roll like that. It might seem like that's how I'm speaking. But that is not me. That is not how I am. I will never force. I will never tell people to try to do something. I will never give advice. Even though someone did ask me for advice before and I said something. I'm not doing that no more. Because I don't have advice for you. I don't have a way that I can tell you to live your life. These are things that you will figure out over time, that you will realize over time. And it's really weird. These squirrels are out here <laughs> looking at me while I'm doing this video. There's like two squirrels looking right at me while I'm doing this. I wonder what they think. Like, what is this guy in here speaking about? <laughs> And they're probably the little squirrels that are up in my room scratching on my wall. They're up there again. And I don't know why my landlord won't seal this brick thing up here, but whatever. Yeah, and it's, you know, <clears throat> like I said, I know that this uh, platform is not going to be a popular platform. And I know when you go popular, a lot of people don't like that either. Listen, I know we have pet peeves. I have my own pet peeves. There's some guy here that keeps slamming their, his door or her door over and over and over again. And it is freaking annoying. It's agitating. And there's somebody that gets stuff on the seat and they don't wipe it off. I have my own pet peeves too. But I am not going to tell people what to do. I'm not gonna, I'm not people's, uh, you know, guardian. I'm not people's, uh, the whole thing with you are your brother's keeper. No, you're not your brother's keeper. He's his own keeper. He's his own responsibility. I'm not another person's responsibility. And, and, when I say I, I'm just saying for everything. It, it doesn't have anything to do with associating myself with you or them or I or me or we. Even though I like saying I more because this is me saying it, I would rather say I and we because most of the time it is us doing these things. It is I doing these things, even though I don't associate with that. It, it's letting everything go will be one of the hardest things that you will do. Let me tell you, I wanted to blow my brains out just a little bit ago. I wanted to slip my wrist. I wanted to end all of this shit. And there's sometimes I still get like, what is the point of all this? What, what am I doing all this for? What is the reason for all this? And I realize.